Hello, how are you? Last day for letter Z. I like Z. Zzz. Hey, hooray, today is my preschool day. On my way to where I love to be. Barely ready for three school. It's so very perfect for me. Got to say, are you singing with me? That I can't way to play a b c's and counting one two three barely ready for three school it's so very perfect for me it begins when you walk inside and your smile just gets this wide i like the honey tree too and the trampoline so i have to say hey hooray today is my preschool day on my way to where I love to be. Barely ready for three school. It's so very perfect for me. It's so very perfect for me. It's so very perfect for me. Great job. We're glad you're here. This is the packet we're using with the animals. We're going to use our book, our zoo book. So have those ready and the fun sheets so that we can get started and have a great time today. We're glad you're here. I hope you're good. I hope you're having a good time with the videos. I hope you are. I am trying and um, I am really, really missing you. I wish you were all just camped out here and watching and um, having a good time singing with me. But you can do that at home. So when you hear me sing, I hope that you're singing with me. When you are seeing me do the projects and coloring, I hope that you are doing your work so that you can get smart so that kindergarten will be a great time for you. Because if we get smart now, we will be great in kindergarten. So think about that. Okay, letter Z. What do we know about letter Z? Hmm, letter Z. What does it look like? Zip, zip, zip. Hey, we're done with this guy. We don't even need him anymore. See you later, zebra. So what about our lowercase z? Zip, zip, zip. The same, only smaller. Z's are so easy because they just go across, zip down, and across again. I like letter Z's. Do you remember what letter Z says? Yes, it sounds like a bumblebee. Oh no, oh no, do we have any bees in here? Do you have any bees in your house? Check it out. Bzzz. I have them in mine. Check it out. Do you have Z's in your house? Bzzz. I got mine. Did you get yours? <gasps> He's in there. He's in there. Ooh, I'm bringing him home. What will mommy think? I don't know. Let's find out. I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Won't my mama be so proud of me? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. <gasps> Ooh, he, he stung me. I'm squishing up a baby bumblebee. Won't my mama be so proud of me? I'm squishing up a baby bumblebee. <gasps> Ooh, ee, he's all over me. Ooh. I'm shaking off a baby bumblebee. Won't my mama be so proud of me? I'm shaking off a baby bumblebee. Ooh, ee, he's stuck to me. I'm wiping off a baby bumblebee. Won't my mama be so proud of me? I'm wiping off a baby bumblebee. Eee! Oh, he's all over you! <laughs> Did 
Did you find someone to wipe that baby bumblebee off on? <gasps> Maybe you wiped it on your pants. Maybe you wiped it on the table. <gasps> or maybe you found someone to wipe that on. <gasps> ah, that's so fun. Um, we um, want to talk about the sound of letter Z. Do you know any words that start with Z? Z zany? Zestfully? Zone? What about zoo? What about zebra? We've been talking about zebra a lot. Z zebra, do you hear that Z sound, that little bumblebee sound? Z zebra, ah, I hear it. Say zebra, z zebra, say zoo. Z zoo, do you hear that Z sound, that little bumblebee sound? hope you're listening to what you're saying because you are saying the letter Z sound. Great job. Oh, I wish I was a zany zealous zebra. Oh, I wish I was a zany zealous zebra. I'd zestfully zig and zag over a zillion zips and zones. Oh, I wish I was a zany zealous zebra. Did you hear those Z words? Zany, zealous, Zebra, do you hear those Z sounds? Zestfully, zig, zag, name some of those. Over a zillion zips and zones. Those are all Z words. Zany, zealous, zebra, zoo. And we have some Z names in our class. Zion and Zacharias. Those are Z words. They start with letter Z. And even Cosette has a Z right in the middle of her name. Listen to it. Cosette. Do you hear the Z sound? That little bumblebee is buzzing right in the middle of her name. Cosette. Yes, Cosette has a Z right in her name. She does a zip, zip, zip right in the middle of her name. And Chloe has a Z at the very end of her last name. Chloe Martinez. Do you hear that Z at the end? Chloe Martinez. Ah, I hear a Z at the very end. Martinez has a Z at the end. That's fun. Cool. So let's look at our Z. There's a Z. What does a Z say? Z says Z. Oh, Mrs. McClure, get your granny glasses on so you can see those letters well. X says X. I says yeah. N says mmm. T says T, A says ah, O says ah, B says B, C says K, P says P, Q says Qu, D says D, R says R, F says F, S says S. U says, ah, he gets so upset. V says, L. W says, wah. M says, mm, 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 mm. G says, ga. H says, ha. K says, k. J says, ja, 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 ja. L says, oh, great job. How about just the sounds? When you read, you only say the sounds. Oh, just, ka, ha, ga, mm, wa, l, ah, try to say it before I say it. 
job. That is great. I hope you are reading. Even though the reading time is over, I hope you read all summertime. I hope you read and read and read. Because reading is the most important thing to help you learn. You can read lots of books that will tell you lots of things. Reading, reading is great. Okay. We need a story. How about Rumble in the Jungle? Maybe? Hmm. Hmm. I think I like my other Z book. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> it's a strike at the zoo. I like this one. It looks like this. So we're going to put that down and read about the strike at the zoo. Hmm. Okay. Now when we turn that page, is that going to be in the right place? I don't want to miss any of the picture. See if we can get that a little better. How's that? Hmm. There we go. Oh, so much better. Scoot over, Crayon Caddy. Better, better, better. Okay. Okay, am I moving it? All right. The animals strike at the zoo. It's true. Do you know what a strike is? Strike is when they say, we don't want to do that anymore. We quit. Hmm. There's an animal strike at the zoo. It's true. The headlines are telling it all. The animals quit. That's it. We're through. Say all the critters from biggest to small. They quit. Uh-oh. Do you know what I think? I think the zookeeper is not giving them enough food. Because animals, they, do, they are happy when they have food. That's all they want. And if you don't give them enough food, they get grumpy. They get sad. As soon as you give them food, they're happy. So I think the zookeeper needs to do a better job of feeding them so they will be happy. So let's see what happens. We're paid only peanuts, the elephants shout, and goodness, we're bigger than that. So now they won't trumpet or lumber about. They sit in the shade looking fat. Uh-oh, they're not getting enough food. They're not happy. Do you have a dog? And when you feed him, do you see how happy he is? If you don't feed him, what happens? Oh, I know what happens. He gets sad. He wants some food. He wants to get happy. The monkeys won't monkey around anymore. 
you won't see us climbing again. They wallow like big monkey lumps on the floor. We want a nice pool in our pen. Oh, look at those monkeys. They're not getting enough to eat. They are so sad. They even are complaining about their pen. I think they want more food. The leopards aren't prowling. The wolf packs aren't howling. The tigers aren't growling. Oh no, look, he has his paws on his face. He's not even growling. The otters aren't scowling. Egad, the worst has come true. There's an animal strike at the zoo. Hmm. Those silly giraffes are not any better. You won't see our necks anymore. They're knitting themselves lots of turtleneck sweaters, which go from their heads to the floor. Oh no, they're making sweaters so you can't even see their necks at the zoo. You know when you go to the zoo and you want to see the giraffes and see how long their necks are? They're saying, nope, you don't get to see our necks because we're knitting sweaters. Oh, silly old giraffes. They're funny. Business these days is as slow as can be. Folks go to the circus instead. Nobody wants to pay money to see the animals lying in bed. Hey, get out! Get out of bed, lion! The lions aren't roaring. The eagles aren't soaring. The penguins are snoring. It's all rather boring. What can the zookeeper do? Maybe he could feed them. There's an animal strike at the zoo. Hmm. Well, he's really doing the best that he can. The elephants all got a raise. We'll give you a raise. Do you think they want a raise? Instead of just peanuts, now they eat pecans. And he offered them six hours Six hour days. Hmm. Do you think that will help? Hmm. I don't know, Mr. Zookeeper. The monkeys were given a small kitty pool, and he's feeding the zebras sweet oats. Aw, look. But the monkeys complain that the water is cool, and the zebras demand we want root beer floats. What? Have you ever heard of a zebra wanting a root beer float? Then in through the gate walks sweet little Sue. She just can't believe that she's here. She's always wanted to come to the zoo and she's begged for this trip for a year. Hmm, is that the next page? I can't tell. But no birdies are peeping, no lizards are creeping, no bunnies are leaping. Then poor Sue starts weeping. Weeping means crying. Her heart is broken in two. All by the animals strike at the zoo. Aw, she's so sad. Uh-oh, look at the turtle. He's watching her cry. As tears start to streak down her cute rosy face, the animals watch that wee child. A deep hush of sadness falls over the place. Uh-oh, they're watching her cry. <laughs> I don't think this is a fun place. How come the animals are not out? And then they go to wild roar and the bunny is hopping <gasps> all of a sudden the tiger is roaring too with roaring and peeping and howling and growling all critters from biggest to small they start soaring and creeping and leaping and prowling then little sue laughs at them all ah now they want to make her happy i wonder if the zookeeper gave them more food 
and all the animals find out that day they actually like what they do. The zookeeper calls the reporters to say, Hooray! There's no more strike at the zoo! All because of little Sue? But the bear at the circus won't pedal his bike. Uh-oh. Now he says he's on strike. <laughs> Maybe we got to feed the bear more food. Make him happy. That's funny. How did you like that? That was a very short book. How about Rumble in the Jungle? I like Rumble in the Jungle. Let's see what's here. Hmm. Oh gosh, I hope we were in the right place for that book because all of a sudden this one looks like it's way up here. Look at that page. That's a fun one. That almost matches my shirt. A rumble in the jungle. There's a rumble in the jungle. There's a whisper in the trees. The animals are waking up and rustling the leaves. The hippo at the water hole, the leopards in his lair. The chimpanzees are chattering and swinging everywhere. Some animals are frightening and some are sweet and kind. So let's go to the jungle now and see who we can find. Ooh, do you know what animals are in the jungle? It's great to be a chimpanzee swinging through the trees. And if we can't find nuts to eat, we munch on others' fleas. <laughs> chimpanzees are funny. The lion's the king of the jungle who quietly sits on his paws, but everyone quivers and shudders and shivers as soon as he opens his jaws. Did you know we were at the jungle I mean, at the zoo one time, and we heard a lion roar, and it was so, so big that we could hear it like all over the zoo. It was amazing. His roar was so big. It's great to be an elephant, all big and fat and round, and wander through the jungle just elephanting around. I could have been gray like a donkey or brown like my cousin the mule, but instead I've got stripes, which my lady friend likes since they make me look handsome and cool. Ha <laughs> ha! Look that little zebra is happy. The boa constrictor is a slippery snake who squashes them, swallows his squashes, then swallows his prey. Ooh, that sounds awful. He knows that it's not very friendly or kind, but they do taste much nicer that way. Did you know a boa constrictor can open his mouth way, way, way farther, and he has a way to open his mouth so big that he can, he can eat very, very large things, and then he squashes them. He has really, really strong muscles there, and they squish. See this right here? He squashes them down, and that's what he does. That's a scary snake. <laughs> he can swallow great big things. Some animals laugh at the gangly giraffe, but I hold my head up and feel proud. I really don't care when my head's in the air and my chest's getting kissed by a cloud. Ha! Huh. See, his neck is so tall. They say even clouds are right there by his neck because his neck is so tall. It's a cute giraffe. Hello, I'm a big happy hippo. I sleep in the sun till I'm hot. And when I'm not sleeping, I mooch in the mud, which hippos like doing a lot. Look, he's mooching in the mud. He sits in it like a pig does. When animals come to the river to drink, I watch for a minute or two. It's such a delight to behold such a sight that I can't resist chomping a few. Whoa, that crocodile, he's looking for something to chomp. 
could probably chomp that hippo if he weren't so big. The ravenous rhino. It's it's is big, strong, and tough, but his skin is all baggy and flappy, which means that there's plenty of room for his lunch, and that makes him terribly happy. Ah, I bet that rhinoceros, rhinoceros eats a lot, a lot, a lot. No one can run half as quickly as me, the galloping gorgeous gazelle. I can leap up so high that my horns touch the sky, and I'm awfully pretty as well. Gazelles are very pretty antelope. Look, look at how high they can jump over that little groundhog. The gorilla is big, black, and hairy, and the thing that he likes to do best is to look all ferocious and scary and wallop his giant great chest. Oh, he bangs on his chest, thud, thud, thud. That's what gorillas do, you know. Kind of like Tarzan. If you meet a hungry leopard prowling through the night, make sure you call him sir and be incredibly polite. Ha! That means stay away. Beware of the terrible tiger. You don't always know when he's near, but his eyes shine like lights in the black of nights, and his growl makes you ter tremble with fear. Urgh. Yep, these two guys are very scary. You didn't want to meet them in the jungle, especially at night. The night has started falling, but the jungle never sleeps. The vultures circle slowly while the leopard softly creeps. And if you listen quietly, you might just hear the growl of a hungry pair of panthers who are still out on the prowl. The lions and their little cubs are sleeping in the den, so let's leave them all till tomorrow when we'll visit them again. Did you like that story? That was very fun. I liked it too. Okay, let's do our fun sheets. Are you ready? There's the fun sheets. There we go. And I'll come over this side and let's see. Hmm, there are a lot of animals that are brown. I think I'm going to use brown just for fun. Oh, down. First thing you do is write your name. You're right. Great job. Z. How do we make a Z? Zip, zip, zip. Zip, zip, zip. Zip, zip, zip. Zip, zip, zip. Whoa. Stay on the line, Mrs. McClure. Zip, zip, zip. Zip, zip, zip. And you can finish with the last one. Zip, zip, zip. What about lowercase z's? Zip, zip, zip. Zippy, zip, zip. Zip, zip, zip. Zip, zip, zip. Zip, zip, zip. Are you being careful to stay on the lines? Zip, zip, zip. I hope you are. Zip, zip, zip. Zip, zip, zip. Nice job. So here we have a z. And it looks like we put a line to the zipper. Say the name of each picture. Draw a line from the Z to the picture that starts with Z. So this is a zipper. I can hear the Z sound, zipper. And you make a line to it, just like that. Z is for zipper. Now, if it's not a Z word, don't touch it. Don't even think about it. What about t turtle? T t t t t t t ticks to tell the time I hear a T sound. Does Z 
start with t t turtle. No, that would be a zertle. That is not a zertle. Don't touch it. Don't even think about it. What about zoo? Zoo. Is that a Z word? Say it. Zoo. I say yes. Zoo. What about yo-yo? Yo-yo. Does that have a Z sound? That would be a zozo. Is that a zozo? No. Don't touch it. Don't even think about it. What about a worm? W worm. Is that a Z sound? That would be a zerm. Don't touch it. Don't even think about it. Zebra. Oh, yes. We know zebra starts with a Z. Zebra, zipper, zoo. Those are all Z words. Good for you. Can you do that? Say, yes, I can. Great job. First thing you do is write your name. Uh, try to be neat. <laughs> All right. What is this letter? Letter G. G. Do you know what G says? G says ga 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 zebra no ga 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 tiger no ga 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 gorilla I say yes ga 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 gorilla I can hear the ga 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 sound ga ga gorilla say gorilla ga 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 gorilla do you hear a ga yes. Here is letter K. What does K say? K, 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 Kibra? No. K, K, Kiger? No. K, K, Gorilla? No. K, 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 Kangaroo? Care? Has to be Kangaroo. Kangaroo, make a match. So what is our next letter? Letter B. What does B say? Baba, ba, 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 ba. Baby wants a baba, ba, 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 B, baby B. Ba, 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 Bibra? No. Ba, 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 Biger? No. Ba, ba, Barilla? Ba, ba, Bangaroo? No, those are right. Ba, 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 Bear? Ah, ba bear. I hear a B sound on ba bear. Make a match. What is this letter? Letter T. We talked about T. T takes two till the time. T t t t t t t t t Tibra? No. T t t tiger. Ah, I hear the T. Tiger, make a match. It's not Tarilla, not Tangaroo, and not Tear. It's t Tiger. Aha, one last, and we've been talking about zebra all week. So we, of course, know that Z is for zebra. Z zebra, I hear that Z sound. Say it. Z zebra. Nice job. Can you do that? Say, yes, I can. Great job. All right, we have some animals to color. Now, I don't want you to take blue or another color and just scribble all of these animals. That is not what we want to do. We would like to color them the right color. What color do you think a tiger should be? What color are tigers? Do you remember in our story what color those tigers were? Orange and black. It looks like the black stripes are there, but we just need to color them orange. And we can even color green grass. <gasps> what about this giraffe? Giraffes could be maybe yellow 
maybe orange. What about an elephant? Elephants can be brown. Sometimes I see them at the zoo and they're brown or sometimes elephants are gray. So you can decide which one you like to do, orange or gray. Now this is not a flamingo. This is an ostrich. Flamingos are pink, but because this is an ostrich, an ostrich has black feathers. So because it's an ostrich, we're going to color black feathers. Now this zebra probably doesn't need any, any help getting colored, except maybe, maybe we want to just stripe his little mane. And that's it. Don't color him blue. Don't color him orange. Don't color him any color. He is already black and white. I suppose if you want to do blue, you could do a little blue eye. But that's it. Don't touch him. Leave him alone. He's just great. What about a chimpanzee? Chimpanzees are brown, so we can color him brown. And you can leave his tummy maybe a different color, pink or maybe um, yellow. You decide. And kangaroos, what color is a kangaroo? Kangaroos are brown. So let's see if we can color these the right color. While we're coloring them, I would like to do something fun. I would like to turn on some Z, some zoo music. That would be fun. <laughs> Is fun. See all the monkeys scratch, scratch, scratching, hang by the long tail, scratch, scratch, scratching, jumping all around and scratch, scratch, scratching. We can stay all day. How about another one? Boy, I love going to the zoo. How about you? Zoo, zoo, who's in the zoo? Zoo, zoo, who's in the zoo? Zoo, zoo, who's in the zoo? Who's in the zoo? See what the monkeys are doing. What does the monkey say? What does the monkey say? 
big animal over there. That looks like a lion. What does the lion say? What does the lion say? What does the lion say? When you go to the zoo to visit. Hey, what kind of animal is that? Out in the water. I know, it's a seal. We can Wild cut them out. Penguins. Let's go to the zoo and waddle like the penguins do. Let's go to the zoo and waddle like the penguins do. If you want to cut them apart, they're easier to cut. You can stay Let's right on the line. To the zoo and slither like snakes do. Let's go to the zoo and slither like the snakes do. Cut it apart and cut it out. On the line, Mrs. Let's go to the zoo and swim like the polar bears do. Let's go to the zoo and swim like the polar bears do. Thank you. 
go to the zoo and dance like the animals do. Let's go to the zoo and dance like the animals do. I like the one that we did at the beginning. songs. They did too. They were fun. All right, so you can see that I have finished cutting my animals out and we are ready for this book. So let's put all of our animals in a pile. Where we can get them in a minute. And let's do our book. Do you see this tree and a tree trunk? Some grass down here and a giraffe. So what color do you think trees are on the top? I think they are green when they're beautiful. Sometimes in the fall, the leaves go brown or a different color, but I think we're going to make it green. I like it green because that means it's spring or summer. And I really like warm weather much better than cold. I do not like to be cold. It makes me uncomfortable. And I have to get a blanket and curl up with a blanket because I'm too cold. But in the summertime, you don't even need a blanket. You can just be happy because the sun is out. So I really like it when it's springtime or summer. And then at the bottom, you can color this green. Maybe some of you like it when it's wintertime. So that's when it snows and you can go up and you can play in the snow. Snow is fun. 
you can make a snowman, but then you have to come in and get warm because it's really cold outside when it's snowy weather and that is winter time. So when the grass is green, that means it's spring or summer. Um, we can do a sign color. You decide what color your sign should be. It can be any color you'd like. Well, I just chose red. I like red. And let's see what color of trunk, tree trunk should we have. I'm going to do it brown. Sometimes tree trunks are white or green. The Palo Verde has a, oh, Mrs. McClure, stay in the lines. Try to be careful, Mrs. McClure. Stay in the lines. Palo Verde is green, and a birch tree has a white tree trunk. But that one I made brown because most tree trunks are brown. And I'm going to do orange because I think giraffes are yellow or orange and you can decide whether you want to do yellow or orange and you can try to stay in the lines sometimes it's really tricky to color really thin little things like that with these big fat crayons you have to be so careful all right, now I think I'm going to do just a little tiny pink ear and maybe some dark hooves. Yeah, just some little black hooves. Giraffes have hooves like horses and zebras. They have hooves on a cow. A cow has hooves also. And I think I'm going to do brown on this sign too. Could be any color painted any color but I'll do it brown okay there's my book and let's open it up hmm. can we open it all right now you're going to need your glue, but only little teeny tiny dots of glue. So it says, ah, it starts with an E. Is there an animal here that starts with an E? Let's see. Eh, eh, kangaroo. Eh, eh, tiger. No. Eh, 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 chimpanzee. Zebra. We know it's not zebra. What else could it be? Ah, ostrich? Nope. G giraffe? What about e elephant? Could it be elephant? E elephant? Yes! Elephant, elephant, I said at the zoo. Elephant, elephant, I like you. So we're going to put a little tiny dot, just one dot. If you use too much glue, your book will stick together and then you won't get to read it later. So we're going to do one dot of glue and smash that on there right next to the elephant. Elephant, elephant, elephant. See how that matches? Elephant is on this side, and then we read about the elephant. Elephant, elephant, I said at the zoo. Elephant, elephant, I like you. And then we're done with that page, and we can turn to the next page. Do you think we're going to find another story that talks about another animal? Yes. <gasps> Starts with a M. Mm -hmm. Giraffe? Mm -hmm. Zebra? Mm -hmm. Monkey? What about monkey? That chimpanzee is a monkey. Monkey. I think I see an M. Let's put the monkey on there. And if you want, you can do two little tiny dots, but they have to be so, so tiny that we don't make a mess. So put them on there. 
Hey, Mr. Monkey, lay down, lay down. There you go. See how we put the monkey on one side and then the words on this side. Monkey, and then monkey, monkey, I said at the zoo. Monkey, monkey, I like you. Ha, huh, that's the right place for him. And we didn't put too much glue, so it's not gonna stick. If we put too much glue and we lay this back down, then the pages might stick and then it won't be very good for our book. So only use a dot, not a lot. So let's see which one we have. Oh, it's a Z. Do you know any Z animal? We've been talking about this day, this week. Zaraf, Zangaroo, Zostridge, Zyger. Could it be a zebra? Of course it's a zebra. Zebra put one little teeny dot, just a dot, not a lot, and put it right there. Put it on there, carefully, carefully, and read it. Zebra, zebra, I said at the zoo. Zebra, zebra, I like you. Perfect. Let's turn the page. I see a letter T. What does T say? T, 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 T. Do you see any T animal? T, T, Tarap? No. T, T, Tostridge? No. T, Tangaroo? No. T, T, Tiger? Of course, it's Tiger. Did you guess that? I bet you did because you're so smart. Little tiny dot of glue, just a dot, not a lot. And we put the tiger right next to the T. Tiger, T. T tiger, 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 I said at the zoo. Tiger, tiger, I like you. I like this book. It likes all the animals. So let's turn the page. Ooh, we have a G. G. Now G makes two sounds. G makes a g g g sound. It also makes a j j j sound when you have a G and a I. Giraffe. J j giraffe. Do you see j giraffe here? I do too. Just a dot, not a lot. You will learn the second sound of letters when you're in kindergarten. But for right now, G mostly says G. But when you say giraffe, makes the second sound of G, giraffe. Remember when we talked about Easter and Eli, which are the second sound of E instead of E? Well, giraffe is the same way. Giraffe, giraffe, I said at the zoo. Giraffe, giraffe, I like you. So let's turn the page. We have the giraffe on this side. And we're talking about the giraffe on this side. If you put the giraffe here and the j, j, giraffe words are on this side, then you did it right. Let's turn the page. Whoa, I see an O. Ah, ah. Is there any animal with an ah sound? Ah, ostrich. Could it be ostrich? Yes! Ostrich. So let's put a dot right here. Just a dot, not a lot. And stick it right on this page. If we stick it on this page, that would not be good. So stick it on this page, right next to the O. Ostrich, ostrich, I said at the zoo. Ostrich, ostrich, I like you. Perfect. That was the right place for an ostrich. Oh, well, of course we know the last one because it starts with a K. K says K, 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 K. K is the copying sound. It copies letter C like that. K, 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 K. Kangaroo. If you get to the end and you do not have a kangaroo, then you got to go back and find which one is wrong. But if you end with kangaroo, that is the right one.
make a dot, not a lot. Kangaroo, right on the same side. Kangaroo is here, the words are here. Kangaroo, kangaroo, I said at the zoo. Kangaroo, kangaroo, I like you. Now that we're out of animals, whoa, we have more words. What are they going to say? Oh, we get to read all of the animals' names. Elephant, monkey, zebra, tiger, giraffe, ostrich, kangaroo, I said at the zoo. I like all of you. Whoa, cool. Now, if you get to this page, I would like you to draw a picture of maybe a favorite animal and put him in the zoo. Hmm. How about, you know what's an easy one to do? If we make a round circle, that could be a head, and we could make some round circles at the top. We could make two dots and a triangle. Now, can you tell what that's going to be? Hmm. Could be a bear. Let's do a little mouth for a bear. Are bears at the zoo? Yeah. Now, bears, do they have a little tiny body or do they have a big body? Oh, yes. They have a very big body. There's a big body for a big bear. Now, do bears have feet? Do they have paws? Yes. So maybe we want to put a bear with some paws and some paws here. And maybe they're coming up here like arms. And then they have feet. Just have paws down here. Maybe some little feet like that. <laughs> and do they have tails? Just a little one. Just a little one. And they're brown bears. Unless you want to make a panda bear. You could make a panda bear. Panda bears are black and white. And you can do a panda bear. Or you can do whatever animal you want. Maybe you want to make an elephant. Maybe you want to make a zebra. Maybe you want to make a tiger or a lion or maybe a parrot. You decide what you're going to do. A kangaroo would be fun and then you could be a, making a big tail and you could put a little, a little pouch on that kangaroo and put a little joey inside. A joey is a little baby kangaroo and they sit right inside their mom's pouch. The pouch is right here on a kangaroo. We've talked about that before. Okay, so there's my bear. Oh, he's so fun. I love him. Now, he is going to roam all over the zoo unless we put him in what? That's right. If you are in the zoo, you have got to be in a cage. That will protect you, Mr. Bear, from maybe the alligators or something that's dangerous. And it will also protect everybody else from Mr. Old Bear, who maybe gets hungry and growly and gets ready to eat. Okay, so that's what you can do. You can put him in a zoo with making some bars. What do you think of that? That's a great idea. And then when you close your book, you can write your name on the back. Great job. And then you have your zoo book. And you know what would be very fun with your zoo book? Go read it. Go read it to someone. You could open it up and you could start right up the elephant. And if you didn't use too much glue, then it's not stuck together. And then you could read the next one. And you could read all of them that we went through. 
And since we did two stories today, we're not going to do this, but you can do that at home and you can be done. Great job. Now, what we did not do was, we did not do our flag song. We did not do our calendar, but we will do that next time. And um, sometimes days are like that. Um, we could do a Z game. Hmm, but I would like you to look around and see if you can find some animals at your house. Maybe you have a bunny or a um, teddy bear or some um, stuffed animals that you want to look at. Decide, hmm, what does this animal start with? What is the letter that it starts with? What does a buff, buff bunny start with? Buff bunny, buff letter B. And maybe you can look all around your house and see if you can find some animals. Or maybe you'd like to take a trip to the zoo and see the animals there. That would be very fun too. Um, we are so glad that you came for our preschool and we want to say goodbye. Um, adios amigos, adios my friends, hasta la vista till we meet again. Thumb, finger, pinky means I love you. Don't you dare forget it. See you later, zoo bookmakers. And even alligators if you want, because alligators are at the zoo. You can go check those out. See you later. I love you.